neighbor's a hunter, and apparently this time of year, you can get geese. So, he's got one, and he said we can have it. Which is pretty sweet. So he said it's in the back of his truck. I'll go grab it. There's the goose. I don't know if I can probably just get it this way. Where are you? Oh. This guy's a little smaller than last, than yesterday's. Actually, yeah, so he got one the other day. We took the breast out of it, ate one, I ate one the other night, and put it with one in the freezer. But now, I'm gonna get two more. And what's cool about this is I take the breasts out. I tried eating the rest of the goose before, and it just didn't really taste all that good. So, I just pull the breasts out, I leave the rest of the chicken there, cut it open, pull some of the insides out, and throw it into the chicken run. And our chickens loved it. <laughs> See if I can try to talk through this. So the breasts are obviously right here. And this these birds are beautiful. They're big. But there's so many, so many feathers. So and it's all down under there. Just kind of rip it out. I don't know if you want to pick this bird like a chicken. Get all the feathers off it and roast it. I mean, I guess some people do. I tried one time cooking the rest of it, the thighs and the drumsticks, you know, and they just really didn't taste that good. But the breast meat was delicious, and just cutting the breast out of this chicken, sorry, <laughs> out of this bird, this beautiful goose, is much easier. We'll see how much time it takes to do this. But then you just uh, start cutting them open. Got your breast bone here, right down. Always want a sharp knife, it's always helpful. I get the feathers out of the way because they'll mess up. There's a lot of feathers, a lot of down in here. Get in the way of your knife. Get Get this in the house, I'll rinse off the breast. For now, this should be good. Here, cut away the skin. As I do that, it'll just peel right away. Same thing down the other side. I'll pick you up and show you this in a second. So if you want to see down here, peel the skin off about as much, so I cut down around the side of each breast. See how it's all bruised up here, this is where the bullets went through. So you got to watch out, make sure you don't bite any buckshot or any uh, shotgun shot. And then we'll start cutting the breast out just like this here. We'll cut the breast down. You want to be careful right around here, underneath the breast here is where you can get some blood. So we're trying to uh, minimize blood that you'll see or get in the area you're working on. Make this last cut last. And then we'll just start cutting around here and get this whole sucker out. See that? It's a nice press. Yeah, this one caught most of the bullets, so to wash that one off nice. And, uh, you know, just be careful you don't eat a bullet. No one likes to eat bullets. Now, this guy, I'm going to cut this guy open, take him over to the chickens, and they're going to have a feast out of all these, uh, all these blood and guts. They're going to love it. Let's go show it to you. Let's see if I can show it to you anyway. Got a couple new chickens. 
We got some free chickens on Facebook. This well summer here. Looks like one of the new ones. It's a well summer Easter egg or cross, maybe. We're not totally sure. We'll see what color eggs they get, but that chicken was born this spring. And uh, we now have her. Oh, here comes it. Another one of those well summers coming around the corner. And this in here, this is what was left of the, la of the other goose that I put in there like three days ago. So they went to town on this sucker, which is awesome. That's exciting. That's protein they're getting that, you know, Mother Nature provided for us. Or I should say our neighbor did. Yeah, I looked right there. Yeah. What about that? Huh? I'll try to open it up as much as I can. Help the chickens out if they don't have thumbs. Delaware already at it. So not wasting any time. What you thinking, huh? You want it? Not gonna talk for the camera. What about you? You gonna come get some? They're a little camera shy. There she goes for the breast meat. These chickens know what they need. You know, some people might think that's gross, and maybe it kind of is, but, um, you know, it's, it's natural. It's what they want, what they need, and uh, we're giving them. <laughs> some people have a hard time dealing with the truth of the food that they get. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, people need to just face it and deal with it and learn about it, as opposed to uh, hiding behind something else and acting like your meat didn't have a, a name or a, well, it probably didn't have a name, but it was alive. Whether it was a wild animal or a farmed animal, it was alive and we want to treat it with respect and use all of it and don't throw it out. So that's what we do, because we only want the breast. Thankfully we got chickens and if we had pigs, you know they'd be getting it. <laughs> Bacon's more expensive than poultry. Alright, thanks guys.